Hey guys, my name is Carly Moss. Um, I'm a rising senior here at UF looking to apply to graduate programs for speech language pathology. Um, I have a huge passion of wanting to work with kids in the future and becoming a speech language pathologist I think is a really um, giving career that brings so much one-on-one -on -one relationship and intervention to these kids. Um, and a fun fact about me is that I love to be outdoors and do any type of hiking or being on the water at the beach in the mountains like anything outside like I love um, I believe I'm a good fit to a program because I'm a dedicated student wanting to better my education and gain clinical experience in this field um, your program is designed to gain this ample clinical experience working with all types of patients from young kids to old, the older population and anywhere in between and also work with any kind of disorders and um, disabilities of all kinds that it's just very unique and provides a lot of opportunity to learn. Um, there's also a lot of classroom work that still needs to be learned and that would also help add to the actual work experience and gaining the knowledge of what all these disorders are and like how to fix that is also a huge part of it. Um, there's a place this is a place where I could get the well-rounded, hands-on education and experience that I'm looking for to become the best speech pathologist that I can, and I'm super eager to further my education and experience at your program. Um, the biggest challenge that I might face in grad school is just having to balance the classroom work and um, assignments and quizzes and stuff with doing the clinical work as well, but I think Learning how to balance and organize time is a huge thing to learn how to do, and I think that it's something that can help me reach my goals in the future. Um, a time that I had to adjust with a classmate is uh, any type of group project I struggle with because I like to, you know, just do things my way and what I think is right. So having to work with others, it's hard to. Um, communicate without hurting other people's feelings and not listening to their opinion so I think a time I had to do that was um, in a class actually like two weeks ago we had a um, assignment where we had to make a brochure about I think it was diabetes and treatments and stuff like that and the one girl wanted us to do it this certain way by using only this website that had stuff and I think that we should have used more resources than just the one so having to kind of work with just taking her route instead of mine and the other people that were in our group was a little bit challenging but I think overall we kind of all just decided like okay let's use what the book is giving us and also what this website that she was looking at was giving us and we kind of just adjusted to her website and our book. Um, something that would make me stand out um, at this graduate program is that I have performed really well in all of my classes and have been at the top. Um, I volunteer regularly around here in a few different areas and I'm also involved in a few extracurricular activities outside of school and I think all of these activities have helped me grow as a person and learn a lot of new things about becoming an adult and facing the real world. Um, a few of these activities that I'm in is that I work in an elementary classroom a few days a week and get to be involved with the kids of all different abilities and all just different types and different backgrounds and learning styles and that has really given me the opportunity to grow and having to adjust to what each kid needs to learn and to be successful and it's also giving me an experience of how to take on the authoritative role that I would have to be for kids. Um, another thing that I am super involved in is I'm on a leadership team that works with the middle schoolers um, at one of the local middle schools here and we build one-on-one -on -one relationships with them and have a club every week and we try to just let them know that they're loved and hear like about their lives and we just want to be a part of that and that opportunity is really giving me experience on how to handle various situations that are super unexpected and, <clears throat> you know, just gain a lot of experience through being a leader at that 
Um, my main research topic that I would be interested in at a speech pathology program is definitely dyslexia. I think that's a language disorder that I'm really interested in and wanting to know more about and do research on and find new interventions for. Um, but also any other reading or language disabilities like phonemic awareness and articulation disorders also have my attention. And most of these affect younger kids, which I think is why I'm so passionate about these research topics. But yeah, I think being at this program would allow for a lot of growth and a lot of learning and a lot of experience on what a future career as a speech pathologist could look like. And yeah, I don't have any questions regarding um, the program or anything like that. But yeah.